maneuvering in the Turkish mountains close to my Iraq. Turkish soldiers practice combat against the Kurdish PKK. The Turkish rebels have a camp 100 kilometers away in northern Iraq. The Turkish army would love to do an operation crossing the border. In Turkish Diyarbakir, the population is mainly Kurdish. Peace is fragile due to the presence of the PKK in the mountains. In the end of March, at the funeral of four PKK militants, PKK followers provoked the masses with propaganda. The situation escalates when the Turkish security forces opens fire on the people. The pump gun isn't used for de-escalation. Ten people are killed. Three among them are children. Many Kurds believe in provocation through the PKK and the police as well. Ali and his cousin Bedat went to the funeral but didn't join the riots. A few days later, Ali was arrested in front of his high school. The police just grabbed 70 students for a journey to jail. They were beating us and blamed us to be terrorists. I still feel very puzzled psychologically, like most of us youngsters having been in jail. They kept me there for one month. Now I am charged with 10 years of the The Human Rights Association is supporting the 250 arrested children. The lawyer wants to know exactly how the police was treating Ali. He got beaten seriously and wasn't supplied properly with food or water. The riots were escalated and there was damage being caused. But this is no reason for charging children and youngsters with up to 15 years of prison for PKK support. Like Ali, most of the kids haven't really done it. Security forces need someone to blame. Scapegoats are chosen from the poor quarters of Diyarbakir. Ali is living in the wrecked part of the old city. The village of his family was burnt down 13 years ago. Also in those days, they were blamed for PKK support. Ali was four years old at the time. I only see a real peace as a solution. Then the PKK will come down from the mountains and will receive their legal punishment. This is a power struggle. There shall not be a Kurdish question anymore, the Turks claim. For us here, it is very real. Ali's mother is scared that her boy goes to prison again. I want to see better days. When we arrived here, we had lost everything. The animals were gone, the furniture, I didn't even have cups or plates. The neighbors helped us in the we are poor, but we are getting along. What shall I do if my boy goes to prison? For Ali, the PKK in the mountains is as far away as the Turkish government in Ankara. The violence at the funeral has carried the conflict into the city. His dream is a university degree. In the case of a sentence, he can forget about that goal. One of the shanty towns of Diyarbakir. The stories of the people living here are all similar. Their villages were burnt because the military wanted to prevent the PKK to get food supplies from people. The Arbakir is suffering from 70% unemployment today. The city grew from 250,000 to a population of 2 million. Turkey has liberated some of the suppressing practices against the Kurdish minority. Today, Kurdish may be spoken and playing folk music isn't punishable anymore. Mayor Osman Bedemir is loved by the people. The lawyer was the head of the Human Rights Foundation in the troubled 90s. İnsanlar birbirine silah sıkmayacaklar. Ve bunun oluşturacağı pozitif atmosfer içerisinde şu anda cezaevinde bulunan tutuklu ve hükümlerin yaşam koşullarının biraz daha düzenlenerek örneğin cezaevinde bulunan hastaların tahliyesini sağlamaktır. Bir yasal düzenleme ile silahlı militanların tüm ürün kapsayacak ve onları silahtan arındırıp topluma katılımlarını sağlayacak bir mevzuat değişikliğine gidebiliriz diye düşünüyorum. For the Turkish army, the PKK either comes down from the mountains to go to prison or is engaged with military force. Retired General Kololu sees a conflict between the Turkish minority policy and the claims of the European Union. 
bir ulus devlet yapısına sahip. Ee, Avrupa Birliği'nin yapısı içerisinde ise etnik e, e, gruplara çok fazla haklar veren, onların kültürel, e, sosyal hakları üzerinde çok fazla duran bir yapıya sahip. Eğer Türkiye'nin bu e, üniter yapısını, ulus devlet anlayışını bozacak duruma gelirse, bu durum bir Türkiye için bir takım güvenlik açısından endişeler yaratabilir. Bunun mutlaka sınırlarının iyi çizilmesi lazım. The population in the Kurdish region wants cultural rights step by step and the end of the military conflict. The Kurds had just began to get used to peace. In the city theater, the middle class enjoy one of the rare entertainments. The children's ballet is still a little awkward. The six-year-olds are only dancing for one year now. The Kurdish families are enthusiastic. The small ballerinas are all locals. The premiere is a big success. Diyarbakir doesn't only consist of shanty towns. A modern middle class has been established that wants to live an urban lifestyle. For Helen, the hours in the ballet school are the event of the week. Until a year ago, she has been too shy to even tell her name to strangers. Her parents own a pharmacy in the modern part of town. They lived through the clashes of the Kurdish conflict for years. They want to provide a normal childhood to their daughter. The ballet is one step in this direction. We still have a lot of political problems because of the catastrophic social circumstances for most of the people. The more wealthy families of course want their children to develop. Ballet and the arts are essential for the growth of the society. Gelişim bence bu şekilde olacaktır. Düşünen beyinler. The upper and middle class is moving to the suburbs. The children are able to play outside of the troubled city life. But will this ideal remain if the riots and clashes continue? Democracy normally is not a mandate. The economic situation won't change. Eğitimin olmadığı yerde zaten ekonomik gelişme olmaz. Bu nedenle ben bu sıralamaya dikkat çekiyorum. Öncelikle demokratikleşme, demokrasi, eğitim ve ekonomik anlamda projelendirmelerle bu iş çözülür. In September, the trial against 91 children will continue. Their future is depending on the outcome as well as the peace in the region does.